So, real quick, this is how you fix these rear landing legs on your vintage Millennium Falcon because they never seem to want to stay extended for the toy to stand up the way it's supposed to. So, what ends up happening over the years, this is your rear leg, and these two top tabs they stop you from pulling the leg completely out of the vehicle because it goes up inside there and those tabs they stay inside here so they catch the bottom of here when you pull down and that is how you keep from ripping them out so if you pull on your legs your rear landing legs and they rip out Either these are gone or they've been bent in. Probably by somebody at some point that tried removing the legs or pieced the vehicle together, whatever the case may be, or somebody just played too rough. I don't know. But the reason they don't stay up, and I've already fixed these. Unfortunately, I didn't think to do the video until after I fixed them. If they won't stay up, the problem is going to be these. These two here, because as you can see on this one, which I've already reinstalled, these here, they push against the body here. And through play, through abuse, through whatever over the years, what ends up happening is they get bent in. And once they're bent in, there's obviously nothing to hold the weight of the ship up. Um, because kids are rough with stuff. Kids don't think. And we all get excited when we're little. And, you know, we just get rough with this stuff. It's really to collapse these, what you should do is just squeeze them. And push the leg. And when you pull it out, they snap into place. Like I said, I've already fixed these. So... The best way I found to fix these, as long as they're not broken, if they're just bent in a little bit, the same with these upper tabs, is one of these precision heat machines. You can get them cheap off of Amazon. Mine just showed up today. And what it is, is it's a wand. It's a heat gun, but it's a wand. And it comes with different size nozzles. You can get really precise and you can change the fan speed, you can change the temperature on it. It does not take very much to warm this up while you're putting a little tension on it and you'll feel the plastic give and then you just get it where you want it. Stop applying the heat, get it where you want it and just let it cool off and it'll stay there. Once it cools off, it'll stay there. And these heat tools are also great for if you have toys that have those white lines on them where the plastic has been stressed. Very carefully using that to ever so slightly heat the plastic, it'll erase that white stress line. Like it was never there. You know, you could do the same thing probably with a lighter or something like that. But there's no flame on this. So you don't have to worry about melting the plastic or discoloring it from a flame. You have a lot more control on this. Because you can control the temperature and dial it in where you want it. You can control where you want the air with the different size nozzles. How much air. And... You can, with very little effort, you can fix this stuff. So, hopefully this helps you guys out. The other thing I'm working on doing is fixing my ramp door. So I've already glued on a small piece of plastic. And what I'm going to try and do now is... Uh, I'm gonna focus. There's too much stuff here to focus on, I guess. What I'm going to try and do is curve that piece of plastic a little bit so it'll grip 
the inside here. Even with just the addition of that plastic, it'll stay shut now. But I've got to make it curved so it'll hold when it come when you open this, so it doesn't just fall off. So until next time.